Slam sound. Senpai! Who dare into the king's palace? I'm, I'm sorry, Senpai. Do you know what you are supposed to do? But Senpai, do it! <laughs> Good. Senpai! What? And this I, animator I made a, a video saying oh, saying he's TikTok famous. Let me see that. <laughs> Hi, my name is Mars, and I've somehow gotten famous on TikTok. I know this fellow. <laughs> the amazing. <laughs> Do you, Senpai? Shut up! Isn't that crazy? The social media platforms that I've been growing and fostering for almost three years has been passed by TikTok in a few months. A few months? And you're at 100k? <laughs> <laughs> Puny little pimp squeak. I grew ten times the size of your power level in only two months' time. <laughs> the king has rose to his throne of one million followers. What the fuck? Merry freaking crema. I made you also crema sweater, so go get yours on the store. King, when are you actually going to put an actual video out? King, why are you still on TikTok? King, why are you ignoring me? King, drop some fire. King so I'm sure you all know what I'm about to talk about. Freaking TikTok. Oh, dear God, no. Not TikTok, no. Oh, God, no. I've been on TikTok for three months now, and throughout my lifespan being on TikTok, it has changed my entire career. As cringy and as much as a bad rap TikTok, TikTok, yeah. As cringy and as much as a bad rap TikTok has had in the past, it's actually a pretty dope platform, and it got me to where I am today. If you don't know what TikTok is, it's basically Vine again, but full screen mode, and there's this thing called the For You page, where as soon as you open TikTok, you can just swipe up and watch videos. And if you enjoy the videos of said creator, then you can follow them by pressing their plus sign that a lot of them beg for you to press or you can swipe right on their page and sometimes they have links in their bio or a button to their YouTube channel and please please understand that you can use people's sounds or songs that TikTok recommends to you to make your own videos but even if you use someone else's sound it's cool to give credit because some people who are new to the app don't know it's not your sound TikTok is owned by China and is currently the fastest growing social media platform in the world don't at me on this day three months ago I I joined TikTok. It wasn't this day, I'm just trying to make it sound interesting. And when I joined, I knew I was on a mission. A mission to conquer my true passion. I joined as a joke. I actually have a story about my journey getting to 200k in like a week on TikTok, so I guess this is like a sequel, so TikTok 2, I guess. As soon as I got a TikTok, the first thing I decided to do was post videos that I had already made, and in the beginning, I was just posting how to draw videos. I immediately started to enjoy the TikTok experience, and I just constantly commented on videos that I thought were super hilarious. Little did I know, every video I found funny was a video that was soon to go viral or was already viral. So being a result of being a commenter on all of the viral videos, I became TikTok's biggest commenter apparently, getting top comment on most of the videos and some even getting over 100k likes on just the comment. Basically I became the Justin Y of TikTok. But it wasn't on purpose, I genuinely just enjoyed the videos and I guess my comments were funny enough to get to the top of videos. <laughs> <laughs> I'd stay on TikTok for about five hours at a time, which is very horrible for my health, but I didn't realize how amazing TikTok was when it came to audience attention. I kept making how to draw videos and a few animations and some would blow up and some wouldn't. So having a TikTok and an Instagram and a YouTube and a full-time job is kind of hard. I already had plenty of issues at my full-time job and I haven't been sleeping very well. Given that I ended up getting a bigger audience on TikTok, I definitely needed to focus on that. I tried putting more hours into my day by waking up early at like 3 a.m. er day. My job had already diagnosed me with adjustive disorder. If you don't believe me, go watch the series I Know It Sounds Crazy. I was in a mental home and I'm just gonna leave it at that. Bro, explain your rise to fame. I don't care. If you were in the hospital. After I got out of the hospital, I started making more videos. I noticed a decline in people enjoying my how to draw videos though, but I decided that I don't really like making those anyway. I enjoyed teaching people how to draw, but the way I taught was very monotone and a little boring. Plus, I also started getting tons of hate comments later while making these. Most of TikTok didn't know I had a YouTube channel, so I started telling them about it and making animations. I would post parts of my YouTube videos on TikTok in a series fashion. On September 16th of this year, 
2019. My Random Thoughts Part 4 video went viral. That's when I realized I can show them my cartoons. I started to make more cartoons and this was the first one to blow up. You know that really, really tall girl that you go to school with? Well, that's me. 16 years old, six foot one and a half. That's a huge bitch. I first told TikTok about my YouTube channel with this video. Don't scroll. If you enjoy my cartoons like this. 16 years old, six foot one and a half. That's a huge bitch. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll write down every single username that subscribes on this hoodie. This is a dry erase, but I'll get a permanent one at the store. Oh, a squirrel. Yeah, it's a squirrel. Yeah, come here, squirrel. Bye. Subscribe to King Science for more cartoon stories about my amazing, tragic, outstanding, wonderful, depressing, in love, and heartbroken life. For those people who don't like cartoon stories, keep scrolling. Once this video surfaced, I gained almost 40,000 subscribers in two days. I continued to make more animations for TikTok instead of posting pieces of my YouTube videos on TikTok. I also ended up getting way better at animation because of this. Sometime in November, I was near the point of hitting 1 million followers. On average, each month, I would get 40 to 100 million views. My life started to change drastically. I went from buying one vegan pizza to two vegan pizzas. I kept making more cartoons and introducing more characters of my life in them. When I first introduced my mom in October, she went viral. You are thicker than a sneaker, heavy like a Chevy. Come here, little mama, let me rub up on the belly. Hey, hey, let me rub up on the belly. Come on, little mama, let me rub up on the belly. Hey, hey, I rub up on the belly. This video is basically me showing the journey of my mom becoming a single parent of four children. Me, my sister, and my brother, and my youngest brother. I guess it took the internet by surprise and hit at the heartstrings of some people and is currently at 4 million views today. She gained about 20,000 followers from that one video. I slowly introduced more characters into my car Cartoons, including my best friend that I just met this year and I just kept making mini cartoon skits each getting millions of views but of course something always has to happen in a story doesn't there it may just seem like all sparkles and glitter I've been blowing up and there's nothing wrong with my account well as fun as growing and getting millions of views has been the algorithm of TikTok loves to hate me for example every day I've tried to live stream, I would get a copyright claim on a video or stream, and I didn't even play any music at all. And when you get a copyright claim, you get banned for 24 hours. Since I got a copyright claim every other day, I was basically banned for weeks. My first extremely viral video that started a big trend on TikTok got deleted the next day. And there's been times where I try to post a video and TikTok just deletes it or hides it. For example, a viral video I made of my mom is now unseeable by everyone on TikTok. Why? Why, you ask? Well, apparently the person who made the sound used a copyright sound in it, but that doesn't mean the video should be unseeable by everyone. Instead, it should just be undownloadable. There have been some times where I try to post a post to TikTok and the video sits in private for an hour and then I just delete it because it won't let me post it. I've also noticed if you post a video at the wrong time or try to repost it later, it will just flop anyway. And it doesn't mean the video is bad. I just think it has something to do with the terms and conditions given that they don't like videos to be re-uploaded, resulting in some sort of shadow ban, I believe, or the algorithm not letting you get on the For You page. Now, every app will have its downside, just like YouTube does not have any customer service whatsoever. But with the two months that I was on TikTok, at least at the beginning, it was the worst app experience ever. All types of things were wrong with my account, even though everyone else saw me as some successful TikToker. Three months in though, a lot has changed. I don't have nearly as many issues. I've actually been able to contact some people at TikTok, sometimes, not all the time. Getting to this height has helped me finally be able to pursue my dream and inspire the entire world by entertaining and memes. I struggled a lot in the past with trying to make my YouTube channel take off, but I was inspired by awesome animators like the Amazing. He was there when I was really small and even gave me motivation. I think it's really cool and different for a really big YouTuber to still reach out to smaller creators and I'm thankful for him. Aw, that's so sweet.
to thank all the supporters that come into my live streams and donate and just the people who watch me draw like that means a lot to me i've been able to give to people more than i ever have been able to and and even giving to my mom even if she doesn't need it because she's just the best thing that ever happened to me so she deserves it i want to thank everyone who's gotten me this far but just know that this is only the beginning uh spoil alerts uh to the video that um you may have seen about moving out making sixty thousand dollars a year don't mean to flex but uh double take didn't flex don't make sixty thousand dollars a year i read the wrong job description